Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. A workshop on navigation satellite system reiterates the importance of supplying labor market with cadres specialized in satellite systems and their usage methods. More than 40 millimeters of rain are registered by measuring stations in the Sultanate during this month. Minister of Environment and Climate Affairs concludes updating radiation early warning monitoring system. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. Those with headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of condolences to His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, Amir of the State of Kuwait, on the death of Sheikh Ahia Sabah Al Salim Al Hamoud Al Sabah. His Majesty the Sultan has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Olanta Humala of Peru on his country's National Day. The Research Council organized today at the Higher College of Technology a lecture titled Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS. The lecture was delivered by Lukas Bonenberg, Senior Technical Officer and Faculty of Engineering at the University of Nottingham, United Kingdom. The lecture covered several topics including the introduction of GNSS history and usages and the latest geographic scanning systems and services of global positioning by modern scientific instruments. The lecture also included presentations on GNSS and its geographical engineering uses. The lecture was attended by a number of academics, researchers and those interested in the modern technologies in the field of geographical survey of modern scientific ways for government and private sectors. In order to reduce the risk of factory waste and radioactive materials, the Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs started implementing plans and programs of environment inspection and control on industrial projects and activities in different areas in the Sultanate, so as to ensure that the such plans are compatible with local and international laws and provisions. Within the context of these efforts, the Ministry prepared two projects. The first aims to update the early system system to monitor radiation through eight field stations located in a number of wilayas and governorates of the Sultanate, whereas the second project aims to expand early warning systems to monitor radiation to cover large monitoring areas in the Sultanate. The massive evolution in communication means and IT resulted in the expansion of the electronic trading on the level of world economies. According to statistics of 2014, the e-trade volume in major countries such as the U.S. amounted to nearly 400 billion U.S. dollars, whereas in China it reached 2.2 trillion dollars. In spite of the remarkable growth in this kind of economic activity, there are still many obstacles facing it. Most prominent of which are cases of cheating and fraud exposed to investors due to the lack of commitment by sellers and the incompleteness of the legal system on the international level that protects the trader parties. The quantities of rains recorded in a number of wilayas of the Sultanate during the period between 24th until 26th of July reached more than 40 millimeters. Measuring stations affiliated to the Minister of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources recorded the varied quantities of rains in the following wilayas. In Rustak, 18 millimeters. In Wilaya of Sinana, 10 millimeters. In Wilaya of Nizwa, 10 millimeters. The rain caused a number of wadis and their tributaries uh, to overflow in various wilayas. The dams in the wilayas of Mahada in the governorate of Buremi recorded the highest uh, reserved water quantities where it reached 70,000 cubic meters. You're watching this alternate of Oman television and still to come in our news bulletin. The Royal Army of Oman Music Band concluded its participation in the Tattoo Basel Military Music Festival, which was held in Switzerland.
Welcome back uh, to the news from the Sultan of Oman television. Hundreds attended uh, the funeral of Palestinian man who was killed during an arrest raid in the Qalandia refugee camp in the Jerusalem area today. Israeli police said uh, he was suspected of plotting an attack in Israel. He is the third Palestinian to be killed over the past week uh, during a confrontation with the Israeli forces. Israeli paramilitary border police entered the refugee camp early today to arrest uh, two Palestinians suspected of plotting an attack in Israel. Police say one surrendered, uh, but the second ran to the roof of uh, a building. Police ordered him uh, to stop and then shot him in the lower part of his body. He tried to jump uh, to a nearby roof, uh, but fell. A police uh, paramedic treated him, but he died of his wounds. In Yemen, rebels and their opponents battled across several provinces today after the start of a five-day humanitarian pause in the air. Campaign coalition planes carried out flyovers over Yemen but did not draw munitions. Ground fighting erupted in multiple provinces within minutes of the start of the unilateral ceasefire last night. The rebels, known as Houthis, said in a statement that they fired missiles across the border at a Saudi military position in the kingdom's uh, Jazan region, Saudi forces responded to Houthi shelling. Fierce clashes also broke out in the nearby town of Sabr, which is on a key supply route. Officials aligned with pro-government fighters say they have regained control of the center of the town and trying to advance into northern neighborhoods. In Thais, mortar shells uh, fired in center of the city killed four civilians. The humanitarian pose is intended or in intended to help allow humanitarian aid to be delivered to ease the suffering of civilians. Turkey's border with Syria remained calm this morning after the Kurdish YPG militia said the Turkish army shelled its positions yesterday evening in a village on the outskirts of the Daesh-held border town of Jarablus in northern Syria and urged Ankara to halt attack on its forces. But the Turkish foreign ministry denied the militia group's claim, saying uh, Turkey did not bomb Kurdish YPG positions. Turkey has uh, dramatically escalated its role in the US-led coalition against Daesh, which has seized much of Syria's north and east since a suspected uh, Daesh suicide bomber killed 32 people in a town close to the Syrian border. But it has also struck Kurdish targets. Turkish uh, fighter jets and ground forces hit Daesh Daesh militants in Syria and Kurdistan Workers' Party PKK camps in Iraq yesterday. In a campaign, Ankara said it would help create a safe zone across the swaths of northern Syria. A shootout at a wedding party in northern Afghanistan has left 21 people dead and eight wounded. A police official said a gun fight broke out between two groups attending the wedding in Baghlan province yesterday. He said that most of the dead were wedding guests at, and at least two of the wounded were younger than 18 years old. Hostility between the groups involved in the gun fight had been smearing for many years. Police said some 400 people had gathered at a private house for the wedding of a local mullah son in Deh Salah district. Indian forces fought a prolonged gun fight today with militants who attacked a moving bus and stormed into a police station in a northern town bordering Pakistan with at least 10 people killed in the violence. A state government spokesman said the attackers killed at least seven people in the pre-dawn attack in Punjab state. He added two of the attackers uh, numbering three or four in all were killed in ongoing fighting with Indian forces that had lasted uh, for more than 12 hours. An official Sosa at the Royal Oman Police said that the female child which was injured in a shooting incident that took place in the Wilaya of Daba in the Governorate of Musandam was caused by a stray bullet. 
It hit the child in her head and was fired by a person who was firing in a waiting party at a distance of two kilometers away from the incident's place. The Public Relations Administration of the Royal Oman Police today paid a visit to another hospital to reassure of her health and safety. The sources added the child is in continuous improvement and started to receive medication immediately after she was transported to the hospital. The Traffic Safety Committee in the Wilayah of Adam organized an awareness campaign on traffic safety in the Governorate of Adakhiliya. The campaign aimed to instill the culture of traffic safety and spread awareness messages among drivers, especially those heading to the Governorate of Dufar to enjoy the Kharif season. It included uh, distributing awareness pamphlets and uh, providing uh, advices uh, that highlighted the importance of uh, adhering to the traffic rules and the speed limit in the road. The drivers expressed their gratitude and thanked the bodies concerned on organizing such campaigns to spread the culture of traffic safety, especially among the youth and the new generations. The activities of the campaign will continue until the end of September. The summer activities organized by the Minister of Sports Affairs continued in the Governorate of North Albatina. Such activities contributed in benefiting from the youth's free time during summer with what reflected to them and to the society positively, namely working as one team and equipped them with skills and experiences in a number of different programs. Among the summer program was a course on how to wear hijab or scarf which targeted the first grade students. It came to teach the students the right method to wear hijab according to the teachings of Islam. The Royal Army of Oman Rao Music Band concluded its participation in the Tattoo Basel Military Music Festival, which was held in Basel in Switzerland. The music festival that was held during the period from July 13th to 25th, 2015, witnessed a huge attendance from the members of the society and those interested in military musical shows. The Rao Music Band presented various musical pieces and shows various music bands from different countries participated in the festival to highlight their skills in this field. <coughs> From Basel in Switzerland to the Salah Al Kharif Festival 2015. Al Kharif uh, Festival 2015 continues its activities in the Governorate of the Far with various events around the city of Salala. Here is a report. The activities of Salala Tourism Festival continues uh, to attract visitors coming from different parts of the Sultanate, GCC countries, and other parts of the world. More facilities have been developed uh, to create a better atmosphere to the visitors and this time amid light drizzling around Salala and other parts of the governorate of the Far. A new and exciting double-decker bus service for Salala city was launched. This commenced under the patronage of Salim bin Aufeta Shamfari, chairman of the Far municipality, in the presence of other government officials, representatives from the Minister of Tourism and local associations. This service will indeed give better mobility for visitors to go around various areas of the city. Salala has many other attractions, such as gold souk, handcrafted jewelry and the Hassan soak for traditional and modern goods. These are just some of the many other attractions that are ready to be explored year-round and all are within easy access of Salala. Very nice uh, weather conditions and I invite all the people from different parts of the world to come and visit Oman. Oman it is very, people are very hospitable and very friendly and you can see many people uh, come from different uh, parts of the world. They come to see Oman, uh, some of them Arabs from the Europe and from them from America and that's all. My name is Rawan, I am from Egypt. I am very happy to be here today in Salala 
uh, this beautiful country. I hope the, the people come and visit this beautiful country. This double-decker bus service heralds a new beginning of tourism in Solala. Indeed, a good number of attractions to entertain one and all that promises to leave a lasting memory of this lush part of this beautiful land in the Sultanate of Oman. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanate of Oman Television. And now for the general weather forecast, cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas and the nearby mountains of the Governorate of the Far, with chances of intermittent drizzle. Rest of the southern will have clear to partly cloudy skies with chances of scattered rainfalls over the Hajar Mountains and the nearby areas. Winds will be southeasterly light to moderate along the coast of Arabian Sea, occasionally active, while it will be south to southeasterly light to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate. Seas along the coasts of Arabian Sea will be rough with the maximum wave height of four meters and rest of the coast it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. And now, before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The workshop on navigation satellite system reiterates the importance of supplying labor markets with cadres specialized in satellite systems and their usage methods. More than 40 millimeters of rain are registered by measuring stations in the Sultanate during this month. The Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs concludes updating radiation early warning monitoring system. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.